Samsonov is officially 1-0 on the season. That's the glass is half full scenario. As for the glass is half empty, here's Jamie McLennan. Jamie, there's a one in the win column. What's in the things that went wrong column? <laughs> there's quite a few, Gino, but you will take the win. You'll move on and you get to build from that. But, you know, Ilya Samsonov did not look comfortable in last night's game. He gave up six goals. Now, only five counted because Cole Caulfield, his skate lace was over the line. Now, it was a good challenge by the coaches uh, to call that back. But that would have made it 3 nothing, and it might have looked a little different between the wins and losses. But ultimately, uh, even on that Caulfield disallowed goal, it came across, he fell forward. So there's some structural movement that has to be sorted out by Ilya Samsonov. But you'll take the 1-0, and you'll move on. But this isn't a one-off. I didn't think he looked particularly sharp in the preseason as well. So he's got to get his game going, get into a groove. I still believe he's a, a really good goaltender that's going to play north of 50 games for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But they bailed him out last night. They outscored some of the issues that they had. In fairness, the Leafs' defense didn't exactly help Samsonov out. 13 turnovers against the Canadians. That was the second worst of the 12 teams that played on Wednesday night. Is this a team issue as much as it is a Samsonov issue? A hundred percent. You know, the goaltender can be a lot better and he can mask some of the issues. But the issues is exactly what the Toronto Maple Leafs coming into the season were. This is a team that can outscore some of their problems. But on the defensive sy systems and the, the core there, they didn't play very well. And you've talked about turnovers. They got pressed in their own zone and Montreal was able to take advantage of some of those turnovers. So the goaltender can be a lot better. The defensive structure can be a lot better. But this is the Toronto Maple Leafs that we expected. It was Austin Matthews that dragged them to a win in their first game. Samsonov's on a one-year deal. He got $3.55 million from an arbitrator over the summer. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to earning an extension anytime soon.